This video is uh, just a brief overview of the Mega Mini MPI, uh, showing its different parts and basically what the whole thing is. Now this is a four slot MPI for the color computer line. Um, it has a few uh, additional built in features. If we look at the, uh, this is the PCB, and looking at the top of the board here you can see the uh, cartridge connector, these are the buffers for the whole system. The CPLD, which is the the heart of the system with the MPI register and all the logic needed to interface the slots and various additional hardware that's been added to this board. There's the programming port. Um, the slots, of course. You have some of the components of the sound chip circuitry are visible on the top of the board here. There is the power uh, port for 7.529 volts DC power, which will power the entire multi-pack. The uh, a stereo output jack for the YMF262 chip. This header here contains uh, con connections to the serial UARTs that are on the bottom of the board. Uh, allowing you to interface that to whatever you want to. Now they are all uh, TTL level, so if you wanted to go to uh, RS-232 level, you'd need an adapter for that. Uh, this is the MPI switch. It's a four position switch to select which slot is the boot slot, just like on a traditional MPI. Now we we'll turn it over here. And on the bottom here, you can see uh, decoupling caps for the buffers, some of the power circuitry. This is the 3.3 volt regulator for the CPLD, uh, more decoupling caps. This is the analog switch. IC, which is used to select the sound source from either the onboard sound chip or one of the slots. These are 5 volt regulators, one for each slot. Uh, that may seem like overkill, but it keeps the things running very cool when you don't have to put much load on any regulator, any one regulator as you would if you like powered everything off of one. Uh, here are the serial UARTs. 16 C550Bs um, and their oscillator that clocks them. Here are here is the Opal 3 chip. It's DAC and some op amps that make up the output make up the output circuitry and this is the oscillator for the YMF chip right there. So that's kind of what the board looks like itself. Um, take that away. This is what it looks like in its 3D case, 3D printed case that we came up with for these and uh, you know you got the four slots you've got the ports on the end here you've got a foot on the bottom to support the whole thing and that would in turn plug into your Coco as you can see here like this so Here's another one, and uh, this little there's a little plug there that you can see on the um, TTL serial the UART uh, interface port. And I just got wired. It wires each of the UARTs to one another, so I can test them by communicating back and forth between the two with the same machine. Here. So here we're going to run uh, a couple of tests. I wrote up. A little bit of test software. Um, 
test these out. And some really simple tests. I um, one option here will test all the registers on, in the Mega Mini MPI, and there you can see the regular MPI register is passed, and this is the IRQ control register, the extended features register, um, and the two. 8-bit registers that hold the 16-bit value for the built-in timer. And that looks good. I'm going to go back here and uh, test the uh, UARTs. And all this does is this code sets up the UARTs for 921.600, 8N1, and sends some data from one um, chip to the other and back again while keeping track of a checksum to make sure that everything was received okay, just to test basic uh, serial functionality. And that's working fine. Um, I was going to put something in here to test the audio on the, the YM chip, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. We can test that part with uh, my chiptunes player that I'll show you in a moment. Uh, the timers. This is running off of um, um, a FERC fast interrupt using the uh, cart line coming in from the MPI. Um, the MPI does have some extra facilities to help handle those interrupts a little bit easier. And this is the 16-bit timer running at its maximum value, just updating the screen with that bar going across. And these are the two timers that are included in the Opal 3 chip. Those are wired up to interrupt as well, and you can use those. So uh, there's three additional timers included in this MPI um, that you can use for interrupts or whatever you need to do. And um, that does it for the test software. So let's fire up the chiptunes player. And this just gives you a little menu you can browse the SD card with. And I've got some files I've prepared with data that can be played. And so we'll go to, I don't know, FM Techno. Well, it clearly works, so... <laughs> yeah, it's, these are pretty fun, actually. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that um, is out there that can be converted, you know, that was put together for the, the Opal 3 chip, Opal 3 and Opal 2, um, because the Opal 3 will, will run in... Um, Opal 2 mode. So for instance, this is an Opal 2 chip tune. And you can treat it as that if you want to.
um, quick test there. A uh, quick overview of the the Mega Mini MPI and I think they work pretty good and they're pretty compact compared to a full size MPI uh, with a lot of features. So that's it. Thanks for watching.